In this video, we'll solve a right triangle given the length of two sides of the triangle. Since we're given a right triangle, we know the measure of angle C is equal to 90 degrees. Let's also label the given information. The length of side A is 8 feet, and the length of side C is 12 feet. Let's start by determining the measure of angle A. Side A is opposite angle A, and side C is the hypotenuse. So we can write an equation to determine the measure of angle A using the sine function. The sine of angle A must be equal to the ratio of 8 to 12. Now we can solve this equation for A if we take the inverse sine of both sides of the equation. Inverse sine sine A is equal to A since these are inverses of one another, they undo each other. And then we can use our calculator to evaluate inverse sine eight twelfths, which will return an angle that has a sine function value of eight twelfths. Let's start by making sure that we're in degree mode. We are. So now we'll go back to the home screen, press second sine for inverse sine, and then eight divided by twelve. Press enter. And so angle A is approximately 41.8 degrees. Well, the two acute angles of any right triangle are complementary or have a sum of 90 degrees. So 90 degrees minus 41.8 degrees will give us the measure of angle B. And that would be 48.2 degrees. So now we're left to determine the length of side B. Now because it's a right triangle, we could use the Pythagorean theorem, but let's go ahead and use another trig equation to determine the length of side B. Let's use angle A again, but if we want to use angle A, side B, and side C, B is the adjacent side to angle A, and C is still the hypotenuse. So the cosine of angle A would be equal to B divided by C. And now we know the measure of angle A is 41.8 degrees. So we have cosine 41.8 degrees must equal B divided by 12. So now if we make this a proportion, we can cross multiply and determine the value of B. So B times one is B. This must equal 12 times cosine 41.8. and that's degrees. So let's go back to our calculator and determine this product. So we have 12 times cosine 41.8 degrees. So B is approximately 8.9 feet. Let's go ahead and check this using the Pythagorean theorem. 8 squared plus 8.9 squared must equal 12 squared. And you can see there's a little bit of an error, but that's because we did round the measure of angle A as well as the length of side B. But it doesn't only take a second to check this to verify that our work is correct.